All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers, and we've talked about it all summer. We've talked about it in their first preseason game, and we're going to talk about it right now after their beautiful domination victory over the Buffalo Bills. It's really hard to not drink this Kool-Aid, man. It looks good. It tastes good. It's very refreshing. It's very hot here. It's over 100 degrees. That Kool-Aid tastes really freaking good, man. These Pittsburgh Steelers are on an absolute tear right now in preseason and i know it is preseason but this team i guarantee you they're gonna win 10 plus games this upcoming season nonetheless preseason game two victory over the buffalo bills we saw kenny pickett for one drive another beautiful possession beautiful three of four 43 yards and a touchdown to pat fryermuth a 25 yard touchdown catch it doesn't end just there we saw a lot of guys that we've been talking about all summer guys like Jalen Warren, underrated backup running back, probably the most underrated backup running back in the entire National Football League. He had a 62-yard rushing touchdown tonight. We saw a beautiful special team performance from Kelvin Austin the third. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. But before we do, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button. Hit that sub button for daily NFL content. I post a couple of Steelers videos every single week. You guys are awesome. Blessing my life, literally changing my life every single Steelers video I post. I appreciate you guys. Words just genuinely cannot comprehend how I am feeling. But if we could get this video to 500 likes, that would mean the world to me. So all summer, we've talked about Calvin Austin third. All right. And in his first preseason game, we saw Calvin rush a couple times. We saw him catch a couple of balls. He had almost 100 yards from scrimmage in the first preseason game. But since he did not play in his rookie season this past year after getting injured, getting drafted out of Memphis, it, I, I wanted to like manage my expectations because I'm thinking, I'm looking at myself, I'm like, all right, Deontay Johnson, George Pickens, the loaded tight end room, the loaded running back room, the revamped offensive line from the start of last season, new addition, Allen Robinson. I'm thinking to myself, and we've made so many videos talking about this. I'm thinking to myself on paper, the logic, if Calvin Austin III is what we think he is, is what he showed that he is at the University of Memphis, well, then the Pittsburgh Steelers probably have the best wide receiver core in the entire National Football League. And I know that might sound crazy, but it really is not. You have Deontay Johnson, George Pickens, and Allen Robinson. By the end of the regular season, that will be at worst a top 10 wide receiver trio in the National Football League. To me, it's closer to top five. And I actually think it's more closer to top five as it is right now. But I understand George Pickens is young. Allen Robinson's dealt with a couple of injuries last couple of seasons, whatever, whatever. So we've been saying on these videos, if Calvin Austin the third in this speed, and if Matt Canada, Kenny Pickett, and the Steelers offense can put him in the right positions to be that X factor, to be that playmaker that they drafted him for, well, then watch out NFL. And so, like I mentioned, we saw Calvin catch and run several times in the Steelers' first preseason game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Well, today we saw we saw catch. It was a nice catch, but special teams. He had, in the first quarter, a 54-yard punt return. This could be game-changing. I mean, Calvin Austin III, in general, could be game-changing, but... Watch out for the Pittsburgh Steelers special teams this upcoming season because if Calvin Austin III is getting you 54 yards on a punt return, there's something there. You know, there is certainly something there. And I, like I said, it's preseason and we've talked about it and I don't want to jump the gun, but it tastes great. The Kool-Aid tastes really freaking good. It's perfectly iced. It's not watered down. It's perfectly iced. It's crisp and it's refreshing. And if Calvin Austin III and everything we think he can provide for the Steelers, I'm not talking, I'm not saying he needs to be Tyree Kill. He doesn't need to be the next Tyree Kill. I don't need 1,800, 1,500 receiving yards from Calvin Austin III next season. But if we could get over 500, some special teams performances, some breakout runs, some breakout touchdowns. Well, that adds a whole nother element to this Pittsburgh Steelers offense. So I, we've been saying it a lot, but I would be absolutely terrified about the potential of this Steelers team. I mean, it is absolutely terrifying. And once again, two straight preseason games where Kenny Pickett looks in control. He looks poised. 
he looks like he knows exactly what he is doing and he looks like he knows exactly what he wants to do it's night and day difference from this time last season with kenny pickett so we've talked about all summer offensively this team's freaking loaded and if they can put it all together to me the biggest weakness for the pittsburgh steelers offense unfortunately is the offensive coordinator in matt canada but hopefully with all these weapons all these targets running tight end room wide receiver room hopefully matt canada can draw up some some unpredictable plays and the steelers offense will be top 10 this upcoming season all right defensively joy porter the third the third <laughs> joy porter jr so Joey Porter Jr. was selected basically at the end of the first round, but technically early second round. This is a day one pencil in starter. Well, he had his first interception of his young NFL career. And once again, I know it's preseason, but oh my goodness gracious, Joey Porter Jr. day one will be a big time impact starter for this Pittsburgh Steelers defense. Now, as we say all the time with pretty much every rookie that's ever came into any sporting league, there's going to be hiccups. You know, there's going to be blown coverages. There's going to be some penalties. There's going to be some mistakes. But by the end of the season, I guarantee you, if the Pittsburgh Steelers are what we think the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to be this upcoming season, I guarantee you, think about the Kansas City Chiefs the last year. They had so many unproven rookies in their secondary, to be specific, play the rookie, play the rookie season. The Chiefs defense was all right. By the time the playoffs come, you're not a rookie anymore. It's time to step up. And that's what I love about Joey Porter Jr. is not only is he a phenomenal football talent, but he has that it factor. You know, he wants to make plays. He wants to hit people. He wants to get those pick sixes. He wants to change. He wants to get that momentum going for your offense, for your football team. And that's something you just can't coach. You just can't coach the mentality that a guy like Joey Porter Jr. has. And it's not just Joey Porter Jr. It's pretty much every single player on the Steelers and every single player that they drafted this past year. We see these rookies, man. These rookies are producing. I mean, they're producing day one. And like I said, we'll say it for like the 80th time in this video. It's preseason. I'm fully aware it's preseason. But nonetheless, man, these Pittsburgh Steelers, I guarantee you they're licking their chops as they should be. And... It's funny how like the preseason narrative is just kind of funny in general because it's like, you know, if a quarterback, if a young quarterback or if a rookie does bad, it's like, oh, it's just preseason. But if they do good, it's like, oh, it's just preseason. So I would take the latter in that. Um, I want my guys to do good in preseason as opposed to doing bad in preseason because that's just common sense. So that's what the Pittsburgh Steelers rookies and young players are doing right now in preseason and training camp and just all summer in general. So that's it for tonight, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Beautiful Pittsburgh Steelers domination victory over the Buffalo Bills. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. Let me know some comments down below on your thoughts from tonight's victory over Buffalo. And uh, that's it from me, man. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and I'll catch you guys later.